back again. This is Tiger's GM. Um, if you missed it last time, we lost in Game 7 of the World Series to the San Francisco Giants. Um, so we are now in the 2018 offseason. Oh, TJ. Our contract with Brad Ausmus is up. You will either need to re-sign him or hire a replacement before the end of the offseason. Yeah, and we don't know all this. Retired players, J.J. Hardy and some guy named Albert Lopez, 24-year-old C potential. Eh, kind of sucks. Had at least a little bit of trade value, if anything. J.J. Hardy retires at age 36. He was on his way down. Probably wasn't going to re-sign him anyway. Anybody else notable? Brett Gardner. Anibal Sanchez is retired. James Shields, Joe Maurer, Erwin Santana. Victor Martinez is on the A's. He's gone. Uh, Nelson Cruz, Robinson Chirinos. I don't think Robinson Chirinos was that old. He's only 34. Cole Hamels, Carlos Ruiz. Man, all the names that I know. Nick Markakis, Brad Ziegler, John Lackey. John Lackey's like, what, 40 in this game now. David Fries, Adam Wainwright. Forget how old Wainwright is. Adrian Gonzalez, Chase Headley. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be Hall of Famers galore in this one. John Axford, Drew Bailey, Caleb Bonds. Hmm. Or free agent market. <laughs> Craig Breslow, Matt Cain. How many Hall of Famers we got? None? I would have at least expected some. Like, that's ridiculous. I don't there none. Whatever. All right. Manage contracts. So we're going to have to rehire or re-sign all these guys. Hire coaches. Dave Roberts. I have a soft spot in my heart for Dave Roberts. He's only 45. Got an A attribute grade. Everything goes up. That is so rare. We need Dave Roberts. We are going to offer him... 10 million a year for three years. This is our guy. He's looking for eight, two to four. We'll give him three at 10. Please come to NAZ and he's interested. Hell yeah, boys. All right. Uh, manage contracts. The way to do this, you sort them by, um, sort them by position. So we're going to start with starting pitchers Jake Odorizzi and Daniel Norris are arbitration eligible Odorizzi this last year um, we traded for him correct yeah we traded for him mid season uh, ERA of 3.41 on the year which is uh, one of the lower ones of his career Daniel Norris with a 3.36 he was one of the clutcher starters that we had and this Neil Bridges, hopefully he still wants a small contract. He does not. What is he? C potential 70 overall. Can we a solid depth starter? Um, let's just start with um, these guys here. These guys, one year 80K. One year 80K. Under 100K, I will re-sign for anybody. Now, Neil Bridges here, he wants five years at four and a half per year. Or 9,000, 900K a year. I can do that. That's fine. Um, Daniel Norris, obviously, I want to resign. Offer arbitration. What does he want? He wants 3.6 a year. I'm going to offer him 2.9. No, we'll go three. We'll go three because he was really solid for us. Uh, and Odorizzi, honestly, I'm gonna. I think we're gonna probably let go. Is he? He's a B potential 84 overall. So if we make him an offer, I don't know. No, we're just gonna let him go. Um, for now, we may resign him if if we feel like we don't. We aren't going to get anything out of him. Relief pitchers, Pedro Stro. Um, what did he do this year? 3.3 ERA. 83 overall B potential. Let's get him. Um, actually, let's re-sign all the wackos first. So one year 80K. As long as it's under 100K, I will give them whatever they want. All these minor leaguers. You need them. Depth players. All right. 
So four arbitration eligible players, and then Pedro Strope. Um, I mean, we, he was a solid setup guy for us. Once four years at age 33, though. Um, I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit, just so his interest is not going down completely. Save money where we can. That's good. We'll offer that. Bruce Rondone wants 3.2 a year. What did he do this year? 3.69 ERA. What does he want again? 3.2. I'm going to offer him 2.7. So hopefully the arbitration uh, people side with us. Uh, Alex Wilson. What did he do this year? 3.3 ERA. He wants 2.7. 32 years old. How much? How long of a contract do you want? Five years? I don't know about that. We're going to go to arbitration here. And I'll give him 2.9. They may side with uh, with with the players, but that, it, you know, if, if that's what happens, then so be it. Brad Boxberger, I really don't feel the need to re-sign him. I feel like we could probably get better. It's only 79 or 77 overall. Uh, as well as Shane Green. No reason to offer money to players where we don't need to. Closers. Dellen Batances. Ar arbitration eligible. Um, what does what does he want? Nine million a year. Do we lock up our, our closer? Do we lock up Dellen? We can just lock him up and not worry about it. Because if we offer him out arbitration... I don't want to lose this guy, so let's lock him up and save the money where we can. So that we'll drop that down to 8.6 a year. It's a lot for a closer, but he's too good to let go. Justin Wilson. And we'll lock him up as well. Solid back end of the bullpen guy. Catchers, so we have Travis Darno on the team now, who's a B potential. He may still have his overall increase uh, up to maybe an 80, 84, 85 with, uh, with morale and all that stuff. So this might be, this is going to be a good player to lock up. But let's see, he wants 10.7 a year. Oh, Jesus. What did he do for us this year? 247 average. Hell no. I'm going to offer him arbitration. We're going to go... Seven and a half. That's good with me. And then James McCann. What does he want? He wants four and a half per year. What did he do this year? 231 average. Offer him arbitration right where it is. We'll go four million just to kind of make him a little bit happier. Um, this guy probably one year 70K, one year 80K, somewhere in that range. We should be good there. First baseman, this is the only guy we have to re-sign. One year 60K, good deal. Uh, Josh Harrison, 31 years old, 85 overall. He is our second baseman for now. Um, I definitely don't want to let him go. Let's see what he wants. He wants $10 million a year, $50 million for five years. Oh, and he's not, a, it's not arbitration eligible. He's uh, he got to qualify him an offer. So we better just lock him up while we can. Nobody from the third baseman. We have an A prospect in here. I don't know where he came from, but I'll take it. One year, 60K. Chris Davis. All right. Arbitration eligible. He wants 5.9. He, what did he do this year? 237 average. I'm not going to pay him 5.9. I'm going to pay him 3.7. I mean, that's that's just it's not worth what, what he wants to me. Malik Smith. Contract renewable. He's our A prospect center fielder. I do not want to let him go. So two years at $6 million, $3 million a year, I am completely fine with. Save the money if we can. Get it down to 5.6. Hopefully we don't offend him and he uh, doesn't want to re-sign. Curtis Granderson we're going to let go as well as Jose Bautista. I'm not 
ruling out um, re-signing them to the free agent market, but they are both 38 years old. No reason to do anything crazy like that. Uh, Ryan Brady and Daniel the Gamer. What's going on, guys? Good to have you in here right now. Um, and then there's all our offers. There is all of our current offers. These guys are who we have currently signed. I guess people have already signed with us. I don't know. So let's sim a day. Dylan Batansis is accepted. Malik Smith accepted. We're just going to look for ones that did not accept. Nobody that we know of. Everyone that we signed an offer to has, has re-signed. So... Uh, except the arbitration guys, because they're not going to sign. Those are, we're, they're gonna, we're gonna have to wait for those arbitration hearings. We still have control over their player uh, until they uh, until they they are eligible for unrestricted free agency. Like we still have control over them. Um, have we hired a coach yet? Do we have? We can't afford to fire our manager. So that means that must mean we have one. Coaches, there it is. So Dave Roberts did accept. So Dave Roberts is our manager. Brad Osmus is gone. His contract was up, and we had a better option out there. So we went and got Dave Roberts. How come your name is still up there from when you subbed? Um because we've only had one sub since. So, till uh, till we get five, you are you are up there, my man. Uh, is there anywhere we can upgrade? Can we upgrade a pitching coach? We can. Daniel Stevens. What does he want? Lock this guy up. All right. Yeah, I need to stop simulating. Hire coaches. We need a pitching coach. Get this guy. Nobody's interested in him. All right, so we do have a pitching coach. Manage contracts, anybody. Nobody's in free agency yet. All right, so here we go. This is free agency. This is the 2018 offseason. And look at the players that are at the top. We got Paul Goldschmidt, Bryce Harper, Manny Machado, we're not going to be getting anybody like that, I wouldn't imagine. Um, let's take a look at our roster and see where I think we can improve. So starting pitching, we have Verlander, we have Fulmer, Odorizzi, Norris, and Wheeler for now. If we do not get anybody for the starting rotation, it's not the end of the world. Um, this is a rotation that we could uh, go into the season with. If we can get one more starter, an absolute ace, um, or even like a middle of the rotation guy, I would do so. Bullpen, we've got Clippard, Strope, Rondon, Batances, Wilson. The other Wilson, if we need him. We're good on bullpen guys unless we can find a really good deal. Uh, Travis Darno is our catcher for the time being, as well as James McCann backing him up. Miguel Cabrera is still at first. Josh Harrison at second. We did re-sign him. Brandon Phillips backing him up. Nick Castellanos at third. He is still under contract for a little while longer. Two more years. So we're good at third. We're going to need a shortstop. We do not have one. We must try, I can't remember what we traded away Jose Iglesias for. But um, Jose Iglesias is gone. We're going to need a shortstop. Uh, Chris Davis. Justin Upton is still our left fielder. Chris Davis um, doesn't. Did we offer him arbitration, I think, is what we did. Um, so if we don't get Chris Davis back or we decide to get rid of him, we do have Jay up. Malik Smith will be our starting center fielder next year, I'm hoping. And J.D. Martinez is still in right. So shortstop and pitching is is the, the main focus. But um, if we can get anything else, we can survive. So shortstop, Gene Segura. 
81 overall, qualified offer with, I don't even know who. Um, he's the clear option, I think, to try and get. He's the youngest. Um, he's the, 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 the best out of everyone. So we're going to go ahead and try and get him. He's looking for 8.1 a year. I'm going to up that to 8.8 .8 for five years. I'm good with that. This is, a, this is an absolute stud um, at the shortstop position, both defensively and he can hit too. So this is going to be our guy for the shortstop position. Um, what about starting pitching? Dallas Keuchel, Odorizzi, Norris. I mean, these are all guys that, I mean, this Gio Gonzalez isn't that big of an upgrade. Dallas Keuchel probably wants way too much money. He wants 15.2. I don't want to give that to anybody right now. And then closing pitchers, relief pitchers. We don't really need anything too crazy. If we can find a deal anywhere. Good deal. Chris Davis is in here. Offered him arbitration. Odori no, we let Odorizzi go, didn't we? So we're going to need another pitcher. Unless we just offer him arbitration and hope he, he has a bounce back year. What does he want? He wants 9.4. I don't want to give that to him. I'm going to try and see if we can get Dallas Keuchel. as possible. Dallas Keuchel's actually really interested in, in our offer, so if we can get this boy. There you know. Can't afford either one of them. Are you kidding me? So Keuchel signs with the Mets. Jesus. What can we afford? We have a million in cash flow. Jesus, come on. Let's go. Um, anybody? We could move Manny Machado to short, but I doubt we can get him. 32K in cash flow? Are you kidding? Oh, that would that's what we would have left if we signed uh, Machado. So what about shortstops? Like, we can't afford anything? No, not Ryan Healy for Malik Smith. Are you are you serious? Why can't uh, this? I don't get this free agency garbage, man. What does cash flow mean if I can't like? Where on earth do I can I tell if I have money or not? All right, I guess we got to settle for a, a worse shortstop. Right. Asdrubal Cabrera. Can we can we get this guy? We can't even afford Asdrubal Cabrera. Like this is such a joke. What can we afford? We got a million point two dollars in cash flow. Bank, we got five million dollars. What's the holdup? Like, this is so stupid. This is so broken. Like, I just gotta keep trying. <sighs> Guess we can't sign anybody. Fuck, just sim through it all. Because we can't sign anybody. This is so stupid. Like literally, what is the point of any of those numbers? Budget, before and after, what's the point? Total payroll, cash flow, what is the point of any of those numbers? If they don't mean anything to what I'm doing. That is so What's this? Because there, there's no salary cap. There's no salary cap in baseball. There's a luxury tax. The payroll, like, it, it. I 
Like, I don't get it at all. What if I just down this? Tigers can't even afford that offer. 3.2 a year. Fuck this shit, dude. We're simming the offseason. What a joke. All right. I guess we got to trade for one. Find somebody in the Rule 5 draft? Doubt it. Everyone overall, hell no. There we go. <sighs> Sim through the date. All right, winter meetings. We got to trade for a shortstop. Otherwise, uh, we cannot feel the team. <laughs> Have a first baseman, a second baseman, a third baseman, although he sucks. Andrew Romine's not our starting shortstop. So, any, and is there anybody on the trading block this time of year? Nobody that we want. We're going to have to do this manually. We can acquire a guy like Xander Bogarts, dude. That'd be huge, but I don't think we can. I'm looking for more, like... Like a Tim Anderson, although he's an A prospect. But someone more like in that rating. Like, we don't need an absolute stud at short. Now, Cetus Escobar, what if, can we trade for him? I don't want to really want to trade in the division, but I will if I if we have to. Elvis Andrews, they want too much for him. Dansby Swanson. Player not signed to a contract. Dansby Swanson isn't signed? Oh, Johnny's begging for subs, of course. That's what people do. If we could acquire Trey Turner with 92 speed, be up for that. Got four starting pitchers. Um, that's a thing. We need another starter, too. We didn't even get Trey Turner if we traded Batances. they need they need relief pitchers but all of our relief pitchers are not under contract ground ball to short this should end it Lindor sets he throws and the Cleveland maybe Indians Trey Turner's asking a little bit too much we could try and trade for Jose Iglesias but no nope. way too way too good Freddie Galvis Addison Russell they want too much you're not kidding they certainly earned it that's a comfort too and it only took six hours Gene and Segura. minutes. The Diamondbacks just signed. They need a second baseman and a shortstop, of course. If we went with Josh Harrison and started Brandon Phillips in that spot, that trade might go through. But at 29 years old, is Segura really worth it? Seager's too expensive. Brandon Crawford. Swap Trey Turner for Josh Harrison. Younger player. He can play second, but we need him to play short. Brandon Phillips could play... Uh, really want to trade away Josh Harrison like if I have another option I would like to do that you Castellanos but then we would be, you know that doesn't fill a hole it would take Malik Smith to get Trey Turner from our outfield guys JD would get it done it's not what I want to do starters Zach Wheeler would 
almost do it. Michael Fulmer would definitely do it. But we can't afford to be trading away starters right now. All right, let's wait until arbitration is done. That way that opens up. What the hell? That's, that's broken. We didn't even get any trade offers in, uh... Si okay, so they sided with us on the salary for Bruce Rondone. They sided with McCann for his salary. They sided with us for Chris Davis. Sided with us for Travis Darno. Sided with Daniel Norris. They sided with Alex Wilson. And who's still a free agent? Curtis Granderson's still in here. What about shortstops? Darwin Barney, Eric Ibar, Jordy Mercer. Uh, they're, they're just scrubs. Okay, so everyone should be on the team now. So let's go back to the Nationals and try to make this Trey Turner trade. 83 overall. Well, they're not, they're not really looking to get rid of him anymore. If we traded Travis Darno, they'd, they'd be interested. What about A prospects? Do we have any? We aren't going to... Alex Villafuerte. Nope, doesn't get it done, of course. I think he might be our only one. Joe Jimenez, who is just not growing. Nightbot's getting a little chat streak going, guys. Come on now. Anybody. A little embarrassing for you guys. Nightbot's out chatting you. I mean, we just We got a weak organization, I think, right now not drafting very well of course it's hard to draft well when you're trying to um you know compete all right so what were we trying to trade before chris davis or justin upton malik smith would have to go all right so maybe not trey turner gene segura Harrison would do it. I don't know. We'll leave that for next time. We'll we'll try to acquire a shortstop in the next edition.